world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm taking you on a little trip into Wolsen, the undiscovered country. Yes, the developers heard my cry. They see that I was doing video after video and running out of content and, and choices and I was backed into a corner wanting to do more content for you guys, but not having more content to play with. Now, they didn't really give us more content, but they flipped the script. Yes, my friends, the developers have updated the game in a major way. First off, my weapon is awesome right now, and it's not bugged. It's actually a decent... It's it's not a bugged weapon. That is... Oh, wow. I'm not sure why, but, you know, they're just cool like that. But the biggest thing they've done is they've added these, uh, what they call first steps. And I believe there's... I haven't gone through everything, but there's other steps that you can get up to. Step one is like the first few that you take and some of the skills affect those skills. I don't know how it all works. I haven't gone through it yet, but you know, let's go ahead and do one. Um, I'm playing a melee character. So I'm gonna, I would take this for sure. Rage. Okay, I don't think that's been changed. Rage generation, physical weapons. Oh, here we go. This is something new. Okay, so exposure is a is a uh, a modifier to the original uh, battle art. So this gives you a battle art that you can choose between doing more damage but having lower armor, or doing more armor and having more damage and and deep or having more defense. That. So they have changes. They have made some changes to the skill trees. I like getting the the longer range of my melee weapons. Oh, there's a combat stance. Battle art. You gave him offensive mode. 360 cleaving attack. Oh my lord. Yes, please. Now I'm going to be starting over because they've changed so much. I need to completely. I mean, look at the mage tree. And I think I'll start a mage too because they've changed a lot of stuff. Archers, they took out all of your separate ammunition and you have two ammunitions. We'll look at that in just a second. So, oh, right, I gotta pick one of these. Healing strike, forcing the luck. I'll take healing strike. Now I'm still using sword and board for now, so I'll go down this way towards sword and board. And then I'm gonna save some points. I'm gonna go over here. And then this is Guardian, Iron Guard. You perform a shield bash. Stuns a single enemy while blocking incoming attacks. Consumes charges. Now they have charges. So your spells and your ammunition and this is a charge. So you use it, you can use it a certain number of times. And then once you've used up your charges, it takes, it charges slowly over time. Kind of like the, the, the roll your stamina did. It's, I think it's the same idea. All right, always take that one. I'll go with that. Oh, nice. Okay, an iron, iron guard buff. Oh, even magical? Oh, awesome. All right. Let's see. So I can mirror, I can send it back, send back the damage. So yeah, they've made some serious changes. You guys are going to have to go through whatever builds you guys are uh, running and, and take a look at it. I, like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and just restart. Ooh, 
like my thorns damage, so I'm gonna take thorns anytime I can get it. A little bit of healing. Yeah, this has changed, it looks like. Doesn't cost me anything, so I'm gonna take it. Yes, I want that. Okay, rooted. I actually kind of liked how rooted was working. Hmm, okay. Now, I used to always take... But I don't think it's worth it to go there now. Because it used to be three points to get up there. So the question is... Killing the chain. I'll go with that. This is just to, to mess around. Oh, actually, I can't use that. Hmm. Fortunately, okay. I have that, though. This is just... I'm not gonna. I have this weapon equipped, but I shouldn't be able to use it anymore because I no longer have the ability to use a two-handed weapon. Huh? I can still use it until I unequip it, I guess. Killing chain. Oh, so they have some buffs. Oh my lord! So. I understand it correctly. So these are available. So five. Now I've, I'm moving slower, but I'm doing more damage. Oh yeah. And my defense is, is lower. 303 crit, nice. Oh, they have, oh my Lord. Thorns is working. Hold on. Not enough on, bro. Okay. I think thorns was actually working. Shards? Thorns damage, yes. My thorns are actually working. I'm, I'm getting a confirmation on thorns damage. That's awesome. <laughs> so that's what it's doing. Attack speed bonus, 25%. Armor efficiency bonus, 25%. Armor reduction, 25. Movement speed reduction, 25. Oh, man. Like I said, I shouldn't be using this weapon right now. I sh if I were to... Well, I don't have another weapon to put on. Well, let me... Oh, my rage is staying up. I wonder... Yeah, I remember when I first tried using Whirlwind, I was able to maintain it almost continuously. So I think they definitely did make a change to that to try to mitigate the, the constant Whirlwind Winders. Kind of hurts the, uh, the skill, though. That's the, probably the battle art. So that turned it off, right? Nope, it's still on. Oh, wait. Does it only last for a certain amount of time? Oh, there's a permanent buff and then there's a uh, standard buff. Okay, I'm a little confused. And that's the defensive stance. So, four. None of the charges. So I have to build up on it. Requires a shield. Maybe it doesn't see me as using a shield because I have a, a two-handed weapon on. Let me switch to a one-handed weapon real quick and see if I can use it. I wanted to test out some of the skills and see what we can see. Also, potions have changed. Now, the po all the potions that I have are 
bugged and I have to get rid of them, I need to get other potions. There we go. As I bet, yep, it, it wasn't seeing the shield because I was using a weapon I shouldn't be able to use. Is that shield bug now? And this is the problem with having an older character. Level too low for that. Give me some shield. Here, I can put that on, right? Okay. All right, four? Not enough charges. I think I have to use my shield and build up charges for that skill. You know, it's just all stuff we have to learn. Then I want to go back and show you the... Oh, there we go. It's popped up. It's got two charges now. Ah, I see. So that's the knockdown effect. I've got a, a buff from it all the time. And when I want to use it... I just click it and it, and it does a shield badge. So now I gotta wait for the charges to, to charge back up again. So I'm using one that raises my defense and blocking. I'm using another one that actually hurts my defense and block. As long as the game lets me do it, I guess it's okay. Oh, that was a... Yeah, there's a lot to learn on this. It's cool though, because it adds more of a, a more active play style to the game. And that's that hundred and uh, that's that arc that I took the skill for. So yeah, there's a lot to learn. Oh, knock that guy down. So, oh yeah, that's I should try that here. Oh, here we go, big time. Oh, I knocked him halfway across the screen. Awesome. I'm gonna go and pop those potions even though they aren't stuff I should have, but, and there's some really cool ones like the, 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 uh, the, uh, the thief. He's got one that makes him invisible. So it gives him a, a, a a stem. Oh, look at all the thorns. Look at the thorns. Oh my god, I've missed the thorns. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I love me some thorns, baby. Thorns is awesome. I want to get a mage that can use thorns. I think that would be really cool. So let me show you this stuff real quick. A little bit. Um, so right now I've got the Iron Guard, because that was from the Crusader. I've got the Battle Art, which is from the now, how do you switch stance into the defensive stance? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that. It's not giving me the tool tips anymore. Oh, here we go. So, hunting, uh, hurting ground, or hunting ground. It deploys in a, uh, a, when you use it, it deploys a trap, and that's for your ranged characters. Your spell binder is a pa in passive mode, increases your umber regeneration and resistance to spells. And when you use a spell, you enter an active mode and gave temporary spell damage boosts instead. Infiltration. This is the the assassin, the the thief one. In passive mode, it increases your movement speed, but when but it decreases your armor. When you use the spell, you enter an active mode and become invisible for a short period of time, instead of a um, uh, time instead. Your presence level is set to zero when invisible enemies don't target you unless you attack them. And then you can take skills that modify that, which is, you know, like I said, it's a deeper skill tree. There's more choices to make and it does affect your gameplay. Elemental ammunition. Now they've taken all the other ammunition out of the game because it was buggy and they're trying to work on it. And so they give us elemental ammunition and, and pairing ammunition. So you can choose between fire, frost or lightning shots 
or toxic serrated shots inflicting open wounds or sharp shots and increased critical damage and, uh, and chance. But it all uses charges. So I don't know how that's going to work for an archer. I'm not sure if I should try a... I really want to try a mage because... Like I've always said, I'm more of a mage character when it comes to these kind of games. And I think that's what I want to do. Now, oh, I like the glow I've got on my character. Oh, I needed to get a screenshot of some, uh, it's the first character that's held this weapon. Oh, we need a screenshot. That weapon is awesome. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed giving, getting rid of that weapon. I love, well, I'm not going to get rid of it, but. I do need to sell off all the crap that's in my inventory. Most of it's not good. My next character is going to go through and do that. Just get rid of all the stuff that I can't use anymore. But they've changed some of the icons now. This is a mage, a mage guard brace. And that, and I think that the art on that is flipping awesome. I loved it. Now, I don't know if they've added any new spells. Remember, I've always said they need to have more lightning or more cold spells. So here's are what the, the potions and... Uh, files do the it it has a a charge and it inflicts bleeding damage but when you put the item on it's a permanent when equipped plus six bleeding resistance it's not much but it's something each one of the yeah umber regeneration so just having an umber potion in your belt gives you an umber regeneration the shadow resistance and then spell damage is part of the use Health potions give you a health regeneration while it's equipped, which is flipping awesome. Uh, plus 3% power when you use a, a shocking fi uh, file. Resistance. Rage generation for the rage ones. So it's, it's a nice little twist on those skills. On those. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, most of the stuff in my equipment is all bugged. Unfortunately. A lot like all these are they're they're unbalanced and could be messed uh could cause problems this is one of the level 16 that you get it for completing the game right now that weapon's bugged i never got a chance to use the glass axe it's bugged so i really need to clean out my inventory but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and try a mage let me log out real quick i'm gonna go back to the main menu and I'm glad they did this because I really was getting to the point where I was like, I don't know what to try, guys. I mean, I've, I've done most of the builds I can think of. But this breathes new life into it. I'm really happy they put this update out. So it's update 0 0.5.02. 0 0.2. Oh, I don't get that green glow. It must be an effect of something that was was on. But that's still pretty cool, though. Let me... Okay, I can move the light. Can I move the... Okay, I can move the character. All right. I'm trying to get the, the a good light. There we go. And give me a good view of that weapon. Look at the camera. Thank you. Take a few screenshots, and then I'll work on that later. Let's start a new character. Change character. Create. Uh, let's go with a female. And, oh, wait a minute. Uh, can I, let's see, I did surrender. Okay, I'll do Miranda this time. Great, female. A uh, little darker skin. Uh, make her a little more muscular. She can take care of herself. Yeah, it's, I guess that's acceptable. Uh, give her some chest. Why not? I'll make Miranda. I'm not going to change the face. Let's leave her the same. And let's see if the, the start of the game is any different. Now, I know I've already been in this video. We've got about you know, five or ten minutes left. I can make this one a little bit longer. I mean, come on. It is an update video after all, right? Um, we'll get through to the town, and I'll probably call it there. But wait, I want to see if they tweaked or changed the intro to the game. They did a lot. I mean, I read the, through the notes, and they didn't mention anything about artwork. Not that I saw, and they had artwork changes in there. So far, it looks...
the same. It hasn't changed yet. But I wonder if you have different choices up here. She seems to move a little faster. Maybe I'm just... Hmm, I don't know. It seems like she's like uh, she doesn't have any armor on, and she seems to be a little bit uh, lighter on her feet right now. This should just have money in it. Yep, that hasn't changed. Um, I will take lightning strike. Usually, what I take. Okay. That seems like normal. It uses mana. There's no charge. I guess only certain spells have charges. Hmm. Not sure. And there's supposedly certain spells that can be charged up. Like an overcharge? I thought I saw something like that in the patch notes, but... I will keep messing around trying to find it. Uh, dump some of the Umbra. Or some of the Rage to get me Umbra back. Now these guys do give experience now, and I know that's a change. But I think it was that way in the last update, too. I'm just shooting them with lightning because I like to shoot things with lightning. <laughs> no real reason. Just want to shoot them with lightning. There is another chest, but it's, I don't think it's going to be anything different. And now we have a shield. Fun! Alright, let's go get the boss and then we'll get to town. Damn, he took some damage. Figured that guy had been dead already. <laughs> Single hit. So my lightning was like just going right through him and they didn't do anything, but when I smack him with my my club, he dies instantly. And the attack definitely feels slower. Now, I know that they're one of the update upgrades to it is to make it attack faster. It does its damage. I shouldn't say attack faster. It does its damage faster. And I don't know if I'm going to go uh, lightning build. Last time, I didn't go lightning build at all. But when I got to the boss, I had to because it was the only way to, to complete the, the trial. Come on, I kill off enough of you guys so I can bring the boss out. up and oh wow it feels like that that the uh, savage strike is, is, is hitting a larger area all the way around you I'm gonna attack physical damage nearby enemies depending on damage dealt with the weapon okay I think that's been I think that's been enhanced a little bit that seems a little bit better the entry Now, I wonder if he can actually hurt me now, though. Enough to be worried about it, I, sh I should say. Come on, hit me. Oh, I blocked it. Uh, no, he got his butt kicked really quick. Yeah, I know your story. I know your deal. Yeah, so far, nothing's changed in that. So that's all the same. But like I said, the skills have changed. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the gameplay has really changed. It might There might be some skill involved, especially in picking the right skills that go together. If Thorn's damage is fixed, and it's actually proccing now, I wonder if a, uh, a mage with Thorn's damage, if Thorn's can be... Uh, triggered by a, a, a mage spell. I'm interested to find out, and it won't hurt, so. Wish you could skip this. C. 
save me a little bit of time. Let me check in the box and see what I can do. I'm not going to take anything out. I don't want to bug anything. But we are going to start sewing off all that stuff. It's all crap I can't use anyway. Well, I could use it, but it's going to be... Um, it's not going to be balanced correctly. Level 2, as I suspected. Usually what happens... Oh, oh, oh. She's showing... She's bugged. Her graphics are bugged. She's showing a lot of skin. <laughs> Get her in some pants. Do it now. Oh, okay, now she's got pants on. All right, cool. Let's see. I'm going to put power. Oh, it's constitution. And two into power. Okay, that works. That works. Need a little bit of health. So definitely going to go mage. Spell casting. I'll go st straight three in a spell casting. And what do you got? You do have. Because I'm playing a mage, I am. It's worth it to buy that instantly. Okay. Every time I take a shield off. It gets stuck in my inventory. All right, I'm gonna test this real quick. I'm gonna exit the game, and I'm gonna load back in Miranda again. And I wanna see if that, I wanna see if that is still like that. I might have to do an uninstall on Arena. That's one thing, if you guys are playing early access games, alpha games, when they come with an update, if you start seeing bugs, go to Steam, locate the file, uninstall the game, it usually saves your saves, but check for that. They should be able to tell you. And then reinstall the game. That way you can uh, identify those error areas. And for some reason, it keeps putting me in a windowed mode and not full screen. Don't know why that is either. All right. Let's get back to Miranda. Let me see if that shield thinks. If not, then I'm definitely going to have to uh, do a restart because I don't want to start doing recordings and having all these bugs happen and like guys what are you doing the game's buggy why did you put it out and it turns out it's my system because i didn't do a f uh, a fresh install i felt stupid come on Dude, you're taking too long. Let's get going. Now, I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to touch in my inventory. I just want to go straight to the merchant. Okay, it's moved. Okay, so it was just a little bug there. I don't know if that's going to be an ongoing problem or if it's just an incidental problem. Uh, I don't... Well... I can get the money. I've got a lot to sell. So I got a lot of stuff to do off screen. I don't want to make you, I mean, I want to sell all this stuff off. Oops. That was an oops. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that item's bugged. Can I put those on? Okay, sweet. So I'm going to do some some reorganizing and get stuff set up and the next episode we're going to see how the game plays as a mage with all these new skills and stuff oh let me look at that in my i've got that and i actually have to put it in my bar someplace to make it work and i'll put that there and i'll put that there so that's the active. So now I got a skill buff. And that's the skill buff. And it goes away. So it's very short lived. So it's like when you're fighting a boss. You click on that to to buff yourself up just for the boss. And any other time. It, it's giving me. What are you giving me? Um, a regeneration of 20%. Spell resistance of 
When I use it, it gives me spell damage bonus of 25%. It has a cooldown of 15 seconds. Cool. Like I said, I, th I think this is this is a, a much needed update, and I think it's going to be good for the game, and definitely good for the channel because I have something to to look forward to. So I've been critical. This has been Wilson, the update video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.